Showbiz Tonight's counting down the top five women whose cheating scandals shocked us. Let me run back where we are so far. Number five, Kristen Stewart's steamy rendezvous, the cheating scandal that shocked the twilight out of all of us. Number four, Britney Spears makes Justin Timberlake cry. Brit's cheating ways led to Justin's scathing revenge video for Cry Me a River. And Meg Ryan goes from America's sweetheart to heartbreaker. After her onset affair with Russell Crowe, Meg rounds out the list so far at number three. It's getting good now. And that brings us to number two on the showbiz countdown, Women Who Cheat, Tori's tawdry affair. Remember this? Just months after her lavish wedding, Tori Spelling had an affair with Dean McDermott while they were filming a TV movie together. Dean left his wife and his children, including an infant daughter, for the woman he called the soulmate. Well, four kids and one reality show later, Tori and Dean are still together. When, when we signed on to do a reality show, we are like, you know what, we're going to do this for real, warts and all, um, and, you know, what people see are, mm -hmm. is what they're going to get. Well, Tori and Dean have one of those rare reality TV marriages that seems to be working despite their sordid history. Back with me in New York, Noel Biederman, founder and CEO of AshleyMadison.com. That's the dating site for people who are looking specifically for extramarital affairs. Also with me, Siggy Flicker, who's a relationship expert and a matchmaker. So, Noel, I'm curious, did Tori's notoriety as a husband stealer kind of fade with time because her marriage with Dean seems to be so solid? I think that's exactly right. It ended up matriculating into something that doesn't usually end up from, uh, from an affair. It mm -hmm. started somewhere, but ended up in something being true love. You know, as a fellow Canadian, I felt for Mary Jo Eustace in that situation in her family, but ultimately that's the nature of the beast, right? She fell in love, he fell in love, and now you have a new marriage as a result of it. Yeah, it was ugly, but for some reason, people don't seem to really hold it against her. No, because they actually made something work. They started out shaky, but they've had longevity, and they're doing well together, and good for them. All right, well, I'm sure you're now wondering who could quite possibly top the showbiz countdown of women who cheat. Well, that honor goes to none other than... Leanne Rhymes. That's right. Much like Kristen Stewart, it was a single picture that just blew Leanne's secret love with Eddie Cibrian sky high. Now, if you remember how it all started, they denied it, but then they both divorced their spouses and now they are married to each other. And I have always felt that because they denied the affair at first, even though the paparazzi caught them in the act, I mean, it was a silly thing to do, but that's a big part of the reason that Leanne and Eddie's affair just ticked so many people mm -hmm. off, Noel. Are you with me on that? Yeah, it does. I understand that but again you're dealing with human nature if you cut people they bleed and if you know a relationship's not going well we're not living behind their closed doors this is what tends to happen people tend to stray and sometimes they want to line something up before they have the courage to just leave and so they they dabble they dip their toe into the infidelity pool and this is what they come up with. ah yes but it's so much easier when you're not in the public eye and and you have fans and people who are going to be ticked off and to this day i still see the traffic online sometimes when their names come up okay, and people negative. throw the worst kinds of names they will at them. forever be Very synonymous negative. with cheating yeah. because once you are a liar and you deny and deny and deny, you're setting up the precedent for, for your future. They could, they're never going to be able to repair their, their, um, their, their status. Never. They're never. Once a liar, always a liar. Well, given the evidence we presented you tonight, was there any other choice for number one on this particular countdown, Noel? Elizabeth Taylor. Well, you know, that's a whole different <laughs> game and a whole different era. It just shows us this has been a long time coming. Generations have behaved this way. This isn't mm -hmm. something new. It isn't something new. Well, I agree. I, I appreciate your unique insight, both of you. Thanks for thanks being for here, Siggy. Noel, thank thanks you a so lot. Much.